Hi everybody, Mr. Gilbert here with a little bit about fossils. By the end of this video, you ought to be able to talk about what are fossils, what are the three or what are the five kinds of fossils, how something becomes a fossil, and what do they show us? Moving right along. First off, remember the Earth is about 4.6 billion years old, and fossils must have been at least 10,000 years old and have been living or traces, things created by living things. Okay, there are five types of fossils. Petrified. These are uh, real common, and we tend to check these out while we're fossil hunting at Lilydale. Mineralized copies of the original bones or materials. More detail about that in your book. Um, you know, and they're really solid, solid objects. Whole bunch more. I mean, you can see the rock, just mineralized copies of what's going on. Petrified. Uh, excuse me, petrified. Next comes molds and casts, which we often call imprint. And it talks about how the two different ways molds and casts are made. Molds are different from casts. As you'll notice, you know, this is the process to get a mold, and then something happens to get a cast. Um, but you can think of imprints basically as this is not the actual fossil. It's kind of like a fingerprint or an imprint of the scallop shell into this mud, which might have become shale. Third type is a trace fossil. Footprints, tracks, or trails left behind, usually by animals that become solid. So here you can see this is some sort of bird or dinosaur footprint, and this is a, like a little burrow, etc. Here you have lots of little footprints cruising around, and here you have bigger footprints, trace fossils. Okay. Unchanged, when most of the original material remains as it was. You know, like a woolly mammoth preserved in ice. Said, well, let me show you some good ones. There's awesome good stuff in your book. Here's a moth in a chunk of amber tree sap, 20 million years old. Here is um, an old elephant, 44,000 years ago, found in Siberia, basically frozen the whole time. And the fifth is a carbon film, which is an extremely thin coating of carbon left behind from when the thing was alive. And that carbon actually like adheres to the rock and leaves a small film behind. So you can see usually this tends to occur with leaf prints. Um, if you go onto my web page, etc., there's also some videos and music, etc. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, what we're going to learn is how, uh, how something becomes a fossil. That will be in the next video. And what do fossils show us? Well, two things. Fossils show us what was alive at that time, how they moved, and possibly the environment they lived in. How does something become a fossil? Well, it depends on what type of fossil it is. More details on that in your book. All right, see you later.